Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Cut Plants. Today's video is going to be a look at my April 2023 TBR. If you're interested in seeing what books I want to read this month, please stick around. Okay, so first off, I feel like I'm having lighting issues. <laughs> I always film in front of a window. It is nice and bright, but I feel like I might start getting like weird funky lines and shadows. So if that happens, I apologize. But I film with natural light for these videos. So we are kind of, I'm kind of at the mercy of whatever the shadows desire. I don't know. <laughs> um, April, April 2023 TBR. I'm actually filming this video on the 3rd of April. We're a couple days into the month. I've actually read two books already. Um, I, but I've been struggling. I've been actually struggling with putting this TBR together. And I think the reason is because I had a really, really great reading month last month. I read a couple of very, very good books. I definitely read some books that I didn't enjoy as much, but I didn't ever, even when reading those books that I didn't give super high ratings to, Feel like I was getting into a slump like I was so focused and into reading last month and it's almost making me concerned that I'm gonna end up in a book slump I don't I don't know why I feel like that's silly logic but I feel like as I was putting this TBR together I was like so nervous about not picking great books and ending up in a slump so fingers crossed for me <laughs> the first book that we're going to talk about is uh, the final book in a series or at least the final published book in a series and that is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass. I read the first Akatar book in February. I read the next three in March and so I definitely want to get to this fifth book and see where the story takes us. This thing is ginormous. Very worried about it but I'm trying to think positively. <laughs> um, we'll see what we're in for. I don't know anything about what happens in this book but in the little novella that become that comes before this, we do get more than just Feyre's perspective. And so I'm really hoping that we continue to get other people's perspectives in this story. So we'll see what happens. The next book that I'm going to talk about is the poetry book that I want to read for April 2023. I have this goal of reading one book of poetry per month for the year and this is one that I picked up recently in a book haul because I loved the title and that is Things We Don't Talk About by Pandora Owl. This really caught my eye. The title was very intriguing to me so excited to read this one. The next book we are going to talk about is an arc that I received through NetGalley. I have actually already read this. This is the first book that I read this month. I'm not going to give you any insight into my thoughts, but it is called Amazing Grace Adams. It is releasing, I think, in September, though I'm pretty sure it's a British book. And I'm pretty sure it's already been pub published in the UK because if you look it up on Amazon, you can actually order it. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it has a totally different cover. Um, and so I think it's finally releasing in the US in September. The next book that we're going to talk about is the mystery thriller style book that I am planning on reading for March 2023. Just like I want to read one book of poetry every month, I want to read one mystery thriller. I've been really loving mystery thrillers this year so far. This is a newer release. I actually got this as an arc through NetGalley, but after the book published. They approved it after the book published. Um, and so I will be reading this digitally and that is The House in the Pines. I do feel like this is a Reese's Book Club pick. I could be totally wrong about that. Um, I have enjoyed a lot of the books that I've read that have been on Reese's Book Club. So that definitely intrigues me when it comes to this one. I don't know anything about what it's about, but definitely excited to dive into it. The next book that we're gonna talk about is my Instagram challenge book for April 2023. I ask people on Instagram to give me book recommendations and so every month I read one book that was recommended by someone on Instagram and the book for April is recommended by at frugal and fragrant and she recommended someday maybe. I am not going to try right now to butcher this author's last name but I am going to figure it out so that when I have my April 
reading recap, I can say it hopefully correctly. Um, I don't even know what genre this is. I actually picked it up and am going to be reading it on my Kindle. I did recently purchase a Kindle. I've read a couple books on here so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's great when I'm getting those digital arcs from NetGalley, which is awesome. Um, so that is my Instagram challenge book for April. The next book uh, is another arc that I got through NetGalley. This one is a, an audiobook arc, and that is called French Holiday. I don't know anything about this, but the cover is adorable, and it makes me want to read it. Very excited to give this one a read, and I actually will probably be, be starting it later this week when I have a longer commute to work. The next book is another audiobook uh, arc that I got through NetGalley. This one has such an incredibly gorgeous uh, cover to it that I cannot wait to read it. I have actually seen on someone's video on YouTube that this is a book of the month club book. I don't know if it's for March or for April, but um, it is a book of the month club book as well. Um, and that is Adelaide. I uh, Just look, the cover's gorgeous. It's so stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, I For all the books that are uh, ARCs, I will definitely put their release dates down at the bottom here, um, that way you're aware. I think French Holiday comes out in April. Adelaide might come out in April as well, I can't remember. The next book that I'm going to read, I do have a physical copy of. This is one that I got for my mom for my birthday, so I definitely want to pick it up quickly and give it a read. I've heard great things about it. And that is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Very, very excited about this one. I do know a little bit about this. I've heard that it's about Shakespeare's family during the time of the plague. That seems really interesting to me. It'll be fun to give this one a read this month. The last book that I wanted to talk about um, is, is one that I'm not sure that I'm going to read this month. So I've been trying to be very realistic with regards to my TBRs. I generally pick anywhere, usually like six or seven books for my TBR. I have definitely been reading more than that, but I feel like six or seven books allows me time to mood read in the middle if I need to um, and doesn't set unrealistic expectations of how many books I'm going to get to in a month. And so this TBR in particular has been kind of long. Um, so far, we've talked about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, which is a lot for a TBR for me, especially considering that A Court of Silver Flames is ginormous, like over 700 pages long. So I am very hesitant to talk about this book, but the reason I'm doing so is because I I do think it it is releasing in... April and I didn't realize it and it is something that I am going to want to read very quickly like after it releases and that is Happy Place by Emily Henry. So I actually pre-ordered this book and in my pre-order email it says that I'm not expecting to receive it until May 2nd and so I thought it didn't release until May um, but I recently uh, saw that it was releasing in April. I think April 25th and if it does release on April 25th, and if I receive it close to then, I'm gonna wanna pick it up and read it right away. But who knows? Like, I may not actually receive it until May, and so then I'm not gonna get to it until May. Um, but if I receive this book in April, I anticipate picking it up immediately. <laughs> so we'll kind of see what happens. It's sorta on my TBR, but maybe half on this month's TBR, half on next month's TBR. And that is it for my April 2023 TBR. I've been doing really well with my TBR so far this year. I've actually read every single book I've put in one of these TBR videos for January, February, and March. So that's super, super exciting. I don't know how long that streak is going to continue for. Again, I do like to kind of mood read here and there. And so we'll see what happens in the month of April. But I'm excited about all of these books that I've talked about. If you have read any of the books on my TBR and want to leave some spoiler free thoughts, down below. Please don't hesitate to do that. I love chatting with people about books that they've read, that I've read, that we both enjoyed, why we didn't enjoy things, all of that fun stuff. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.